Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm proud to represent a constituency that boasts of seven synagogues, four mosques, over 35 churches and two temples. However, last night Donald Trump reiterated that one of these communities would not be allowed into America simply because of their religion, seemingly unaware of how divisive this is. In our country, we have legislation that stops people from entering the country who are deemed not to be conducive to public good. <laughs> Does the Prime Minister agree that the law should be applied equally to everyone, or should we be making exceptions for billionaire politicians? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, let me join the Honourable Lady in being proud of representing a country which I think has some claim to say we are one of the most successful multiracial, multi faith, multi ethnic countries anywhere in the world. There's more to do to build opportunity and fight discrimination. Now, I agree with her that it is right that we exclude people uh, when they are going to radicalise or encourage extremism. I happen to disagree with her about Donald Trump. I think his remarks are divisive, stupid and wrong. And I think if he came to visit our country, I think he'd unite us all against him.